Large body of waters can seem like a harmless way to cool down in the summer sun, although while swimming in certain areas, this can turn deadly in a moment's notice, especially when some swimmers may not be aware of all the possible dangers that reside in the body of water. One of the most important details to know when swimming is how the current conditions are affecting the lake. This information can be located through the flag system that is used at the lifeguard outpost in the city of Marquette. This can help people become aware of the lake's current conditions and on how dangerous the lake may be at the time. We want them to be aware of our flag system, so we have flags at each beach, and normally with each beach you have um, the flag system under the flags, and even if you ask one of the guards, they'll know. So if it's green, go. Yellow, be precautious. Red, you probably shouldn't swim, but we still have guards out there. And then if there are two red flags, do not go out there at all. With the weather affecting the swimming safety as much as it does, there are other threats while swimming in these large bodies of water. Rip currents, which can be affected by the weather, are always changing and can be very dangerous, even for the best of swimmers. The rip currents here are definitely strong and a lot of people, you know, your initial thing to do is to fight against it. You definitely don't want to fight against the current. You just want to relax and kind of, you know, get yourself together. But the most important thing to do is to swim with the shore, with the shoreline. Don't swim, you know, out into the water. Don't try to come back to directly to shore. You want to stay parallel to the shoreline and, you know, kind of edge yourself in that way. If you are also with another person and they are pulled out by the current, then you do not want to get into the water as well. Instead, find a way to help them by throwing a flotation device out to them and or calling for help. Don't go in. Call 911 and if there is a life preserver, you can go ahead and throw that on or try and throw one of the life rings that are on the back of each of our stands to them. Just you stay safe. We don't want two people to be drowning versus one. When you're going to a location with very little ability to contact for help, it is always important to carry a cell phone for in the case of emergencies. Having a cell phone available, being able to notify authorities and if something happens. A lot of people want to play the hero when someone is drowning or in distress. The best thing you can do in that situation is to call someone first because we can't respond until we know there's an issue. Now, if you have the option, you can use a device called Emily. This device is located at some beaches that have no lifeguards currently stationed for the season. And Emily is our emergency lifeguarding lanyard. And it's like a little mo control boat that you guys can send out. There's a lock code on it. So when you call 911, they'll give you the lock code and you'll get in it and basically direct it towards the person that's being swept away. Knowing the area and the places that you're going to be swimming at are very important. And knowing all the rules and safety tips while in the water is also crucial and it may save your life one day. Reporting from Marquette County, I'm Dan Callahan for ABC 10 and the CW5.